G'day, g'day guys, and welcome to the channel. This one's a quick one. I wanted to do a mixed media layout, and I'm using a stack of the stamps that was so kindly gifted to me from Sonia. Thank you so, so much. I absolutely adore. I, I'm in awe that you were so generous to send me so much, and I wanted to do a layout using... 90% of you know like a, a stack of these stamps and just to have a play with them and see what I could come up with and I wanted to do I wanted to show you how you can create a lot of texture without the bulk because a lot of scrapbooking at the moment is all about different textures layers um, mixed media and I wanted to I wanted to sort of have a play and just go, maybe I can create lots of texture. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was so rude. I apologize. Now, I wanted to create a lot of texture, but without lots of the heavy bulk, you know, like no sort of brads or um, not you know brads and all the all the things that create a lot of depth on a page and can weigh down quite heavily so as i said in 2024 i'm trying to create layouts for you that are textural visual to it's got visual texture rather than physical texture now i'm sticking with i'm doing something here that i don't normally do but I thought I would give this a try of using the one colored stamp, like the one colored ink and introduce a very, very, very tiny amount of one extra color. So can you see what I did there? I put the stamp on upside down. Anyway, moving right along. So I am using... These are the butterfly stamps and this is what these are the photos I'm using. Now remember every time you create a mixed media layout you're going to cover up probably a good half of it. Now I know that that center bit isn't going to get seen but for my eye I wanted to have something um I wanted to have something more in the center. I just so I can get the outside edges right. That's what I wanted to do. Now, what I what you can see me doing here is because I've used Versafine Black Onyx Ink and I'm you Onyx Black Ink, sorry, and the Versafine Claire Ink. They are pigment inks and they stay wet longer. So I wanted, so I could continue down this path of creating texture without the bulk. I wanted to cover them in some clear embossing powder because that way the color's locked in and it doesn't really matter what I do on top of it. It's not going to mess up the stamp. I'm not going to dilute it. It's not going to try and run. It's just going to stay exactly where I've put it. And I don't do that a lot when it comes to mixed media because we like to add the liquid and all that sort of stuff. So I pulled out my... Um, Liquitex gel medium and what I'm actually putting over this is a tissue I've pulled it so it's a two ply tissue and I've pulled it in half and I'm gluing that down on top what that actually does is it's allowing me to mute out and soften some of the stamps so I did pretty much all the stamping first generation. I didn't do a lot of the second gen stamping. If you don't know what that is, that's just where you go from the ink pad to the paper. The first time is first generation. Then if you re-stamp it without adding more ink, that's second generation, third and fourth, etc. So I wanted to sort of haze it out a little bit. But I wanted to use something that we all have. So tissue, it's not tissue paper. It's literally a tissue. So, and I'm just gluing it down. And you can see there, see how now 
some of the areas are a little bit more hazy than the rest of them. Now this, stick with me, this is a process, this is definitely, this is something I say a lot and I haven't been saying it much lately. Whenever you get to a point you think, oh, is that really working? I had to try and, I had to try and get my brain past the fact that I only had three butterflies on there that were colored. Everything else was black and white. That was something that my brain doesn't do easily. Like it was very, very difficult. Now here's where I come unstuck. I wanted to do some runs of the, I'm using my Distress Watercolor Pencil in black soot I, because I wanted it to stay in the black family. I didn't want to change and add any extra color. And I really was not happy with how this worked because the tissues were on there. It was trying to absorb it. I thought I had covered all of the tissues enough that you couldn't see it. Don't stress. Just think about it like this. You're going to be covering up some of it anyway. You're not going to see all of it. So it will, it, it comes together in the end. I did add some splatters from the Distress Oxide pencil that I had sitting on my mat. I was literally, and this is me hunting around, wondering if I can do something else. Now here's something I've never done before, and I've never seen someone else do this before. But these are your Creative Memories circle cutting system. I've got my black acrylic paint in this little squeezy bottle with a fine tip on it and I'm just adding the paint onto one of the circles. How good is that? You've now got, if you've got the cutting system, you've got yourself a load of stamps that you can create circles with, with some paint. I didn't dip it into paint because I only wanted a certain size of the circle on there to make sort of a focal point and see how I've done like that second third generation stamp so that I don't get a complete circle that's just a very mixed media look that's something I've never done before and I really really liked it and you know I love shapes I love me some circles now can you see when I put those photos over it you don't see all of it so you're just seeing bits poking out. It's coming together. Stick with me. I am taking five minutes. You can see my fingers tapping to kind of go, okay, what do I do now? It did need some metallic of some description because I really like to have either metallic reflection or clear reflection. A lot of the, so the butterflies, they had the clear embossing powder over them but I covered some of them, so I lost that bit of shine. That's okay. As I said, we don't see all of it. Now I've got that little bit of black, that little bit of gold on there. I'm much happier with it. It's working. It's To me, it's working. Now I am considering what I'm going to do for a border. I wasn't sure if I should add a border to it, should I not add a border? I wasn't too sure, so I pulled out some washi tape and I thought if I just do the corners, top and bottom, but the problem with that is, and the reason why very quickly I changed my mind and take it off, because I've created a diamond in the center. Normally when I do a corner on the, on the di diagonal, so I do the two opposite corners, that's usually when I've done a diagonal photo layout. So I'm going from top to bottom opposite corners. This is very much a diamond through the center. So it didn't really work. Now I had some black paint sitting there. So I thought, well, maybe I could just run my finger around and give a very organic sort of black edge to it. And I loved that. Loved it. Love, love, loved it. That is exactly what it needed. Not a perfect... If I had done a pen, it would have been a neat straight line. That's not what this called for. It's all mixed media-y and I absolutely love it. And I can finally use some more of these, these thickers. These are from the, let me see, they are from the Perfect Day collection. And I love them, 
but I'm stuck because I've used so many of them. I am stuck with just a few random words, but that was the perfect title. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to give you the close up now. And I have to say that, okay, apparently I'm not picking it up. <laughs> there I am. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. All that helps the channel out a lot in being noticed by your friends and your peers. And don't forget, I've got the buy me a coffee link in the description below as well, in case you would like to help support the channel by buying more product to create more layouts for you. I love all that. Let me know, is this something that you will give a try? Is this something that you think, have you seen something different on here that you've got some value from, from watching? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with you tomorrow for another video. Bye for now.